Hey there, it's Pete over at The Samplist and today we are checking out Novella Origin from Westwood Instruments. Novella Origin is a dramatic cinematic scoring toolkit and it's all about showing the intensity of your characters or maybe twists in the tale as they unfold on the screen. This is a scoring toolkit and it contains strings, choir, electric guitar, piano, synth and drums and it's perfect to create evocative and emotional scores. Novella Origin downloads at 38.7 gigabytes and it requires the free contact player version 6.6.1 or above. It is of course NKS compatible as well. It downloads via the Pulse downloader and it is currently on launch price of $209 or €209 Euros, or where I am in the UK £179. In this video we're going to check out the different instruments that make up Novella Origin and then of course I've put it into a composition which focuses on the dramatic. So without further ado, let's jump in and check out Novella Origin. And here we have the nine piece Willow Ensemble from Novella Origin loaded up in Native Instruments Complete Control. And on the left hand side, you can see how Westwood Instruments have broken down the library into 10 sections. So we have the Willow Ensemble, then we have violins, violas, cellos, double bass. We have the foils, which is the choir. We've got pickup six, which is electric guitar, cotton upright piano, wonderlust, synth and daybreak drums. Now, let's just play the ensemble chords. Straight away, they sound gorgeous. They are rich. They are full of character and detail. Now, you'll notice I only played major chords there. So the way the library works, it's all key switchable. If I just go down, you can see we have the articulations crossed up here. And these are key switch across the uh, red keys on your controller. But if I go back up, because we're talking about the ensemble chords, the yellow key actually changes which type of chord it is. So on this D key switch, we have a major, D sharp, we have a minor, and then we have a sus2, it sounds like. Sounds like a minor nine there. You have all of these different pre-made chords for you. Now I played just using the blue key. So I'll go I'll go to minor this time. So I've got A minor. Now the purple keys, the the, the range or the instrumentation changes. So it's more of a higher range. And then the red keys. You can hear the real top end of the violins there. So that's the ensemble chords. Now, every single instrument has different articulations. So I'm just going to play through some articulations of the Willow Ensemble. Uh, so we have improv.
Okay. So they're improvised uh, articulations, like performances. They've got RK. And they've got flautando, one of my all time favourite articulations. So I'm stretching a little bit there. But you get the idea that the flautando sounds lovely. And it's, again, it's just the detail. Then got sol pont. I'm going to start off high and move lower. So it's very delicate. Beautiful. And they've got the spiccato. Again, it sounds amazing. Now, that's just going through the articulations, and this is the ensemble, so it's obviously it's not the individual sections of the strings but the ensemble is made up of nine players and like I say you get that detail and that character but I love it's almost just hearing that attack and that closeness is lovely now you may have noticed that I did bring up the mix a little bit when I was doing the soul palm uh so I'll just bring that down. Now you've got three different types of mic. You've got close, we've got room, and we've got hall. So if I turn the main mix off, let's just say we want to go ultra close. Okay, so it reminds me of that. Um, I'll try to think what it is. Uh, yeah, the kind of trailers, uh, I can't remember what they're called now, but like, you know, spies and things like that. Um, I've made some and I, I can't think what they're called, but anyway. Sounds lovely. They've got the room sound. Yeah. And then we've got the hall sound. Okay, and then you can uh, just blend to your heart's content. So that's how we get our mix, uh, just blending those three mics together. Okay, um, of course we've got dynamic control as well for go flautando. Lovely. And it takes us to the next uh, pages. Oh, we do a reverb as well. So you can change the different types of reverb and how much you dial in. Now on the effects page, there are generous effects. Uh, we've got delay, we've got width, reverb. Uh, it depends on the instrument as well. So the guitars have distortion, for example. Um, but yeah, you can just play around with the different sounds and then uh, this is kind of like this. Well, it is the settings. Uh, it says set, uh, change key switch position if you like to purge and use articulations. Really important for a lower footprint, but it is very low anyway. And then you can uh, adjust the um, auto purge and the velocity sensitivity. So 
Really, really straightforward controls, and of course, get the info about the wonderful people who have created this library uh, because it is lovely. Now, we're going to move on to violins, and I have to say, I am a long time Westwood instrument user ever since uh, Bass and Tame came out. Um, I've used that on every single patch. Sorry, not patch, every single uh, piece of music that I've created that's needed a bass, I've used that. So. That's most of them. Now, the violins, you can see we have far more articulations. So I'm going to play some of these, but I'm going to obviously play the ones I miss out in the other instruments. But the violins sound incredible. Okay, so that's the legato, and you can adjust the legato speed. I mean, that's too too fast, isn't it? <laughs> Oops. Okay, then we've got the vivid legato. I'm just going to actually just relay the patch to the default. Okay, so we're on vivid legato. Beautiful. Then we've got the improv. Sounds amazing. And the range. Absolutely love those. Now we'll skip some of these, uh, the Molte and the Arco. Let's go to the Flautando Random Rebo. Just going to hold it because, yeah, just listen to that performance. I love it. And spiccato. Lovely. Uh, I'll save the picks for the next. Then we've got the violas. So, viola legato. Okay, sounds great. Uh, I, I fell off the keyboard there. Terrible. Uh, let's go for uh, the Arco. Let's go for the uh, Arco Random Rebo. So in that example, you can hear I was quite high up. I bring the dynamics right down. You get all of that dynamic range. That is amazing. Uh, Solpon. Lovely. Um, let's do picks. Love these. You can hear the round robins, but that is beautiful. 
Yeah. Let's go for the cellos. There we go. So only 280 megabytes as well. Beautiful. Uh, let's go for the improv. I would do the Sopom random rebo. It is just gorgeous. Uh, Spicato, let's go bring the mix down a little bit. Yeah, I love these. Wonderful. And I'm just gonna play the picks. can feel the twang of the string going on. And they got the double bass, and the double bass just growls. Let's go bring it up a little bit for the li, uh, legato. It goes down to that low C. And like I say, it just growls. Beautiful. Um, Flotando. It's gorgeous. I got Flotando to Sol Palm. Beautiful. Uh, spiccato. Beautiful. And then picks. Let's go bring it down. Oh, that sound. That is incredible. Yeah, love it. And there we go. So that is the string section. Now, having an ensemble string with uh, chord, built-in chords is really, really useful. But of course, all of these different articulations. So you can combine them to create some absolutely gorgeous textures and performances. Now, if we go into the foils, which is the choir, the choir is awesome. So I, I sort of see this as it makes uh really really cool vocal effects and textures so if we just hear the uh, improv r to u let's go hold down two notes lovely And I can hear that the vowel control, if it's down low, it's an R. Mm. 
then it moves over into the ooh, and you can learn MIDI CC wherever you want. And cross between those if you so desire. So we've got the M to R. And then we've got the M mm to U. I should replay it with the crossfade. Lovely. And then we've got chatters. Beautiful. Then we've got short na. Short ooze. And then we've got improv uh, r, which is velocity bass. And then mm. and ooh. So it's very, very celestial. Now we've got electric guitar, uh, which is the pickup six. Okay, so we've got sustains. And it goes down to a low D. Now if I... My sustain pedal is all the way, uh, quite a long way away from my controller, but anyway. Okay, sounds really nice. Uh, so that's standard guitars. Sorry about the banging there. Uh, they've got muted thumb. That's great to punctuate chords. Uh, then we have the unmeasured pick. So use a mod wheel for these. Okay, so you can hear the performances, uh, but again, they're unmeasured. Same with the thumb. Then harmonics. And noises. We all love a bit of noise. Beautiful. And again, everything's key switchable. Now the effects, I'm not gonna go through effects too much, but you can see here, for example, we've got speaker cabs, we've got overdrive, tremolo, chorus. I mean, if I wanted to make uh, a very, very quick um, kind of spaghetti western because I love it and we all know I love it um, let's do some stereo spread I'm just going to turn it down a little bit on the main page that's not bad turn it down a bit too much let's just very quickly jump back in 
There we go. Yeah. So you can see just really, really simple effects to dial in. And they sound great. Now we've got the cotton upright. And this piano sounds amazing. Okay, it sounds lovely. A uh, little bit quiet there, so I'm just going to bring it up a little bit. But you can hear the brightness. Now we've got the pedal down piano. Okay, I'm just going to bring it up a little bit more. Again, beautiful. And then the Dust Piano, arguably one of my favourites. It is beautiful. So there we go. Now that is three different types of piano. Then we've got the Wonderlust synth as well. Now the synths are amazing. I did uh, look at Lost Synth, uh, which was a, just a beautiful analog synth instrument. And then we have some analog synths here. So this is act one. Lovely. And then uh, opening gambit. Okay, full of drama. And just jumping around deep down. play one more. Uh, never hear. Just showing the range off there. Uh, but yeah, the synths are wonderful. So that is the Wonderless synth. And then the last part are the Daybreak drums. OK, 
Okay, my terrible finger drumming there. But you get the bamboo um, sticks and then you got the felt beaters. Changes the timbre. And then you got cymbal swells. And they're different lengths, and they're bread and butter of composing. Now, that is an overview, a very quick overview, of the instruments contained within Novella Origin. And I have to admit, I just love the sounds out of the box. And the fact you can tweak them using the effects, etc., is really, really useful. So what we're going to do now, we're going to throw this into a composing scenario, and I've composed some dramatic underscore to see how Novella Origin performs shall we say, uh, while you're composing. So without further ado, let's jump into the composition. That was our ever so slightly dramatic underscore composition using Novella Origin. And I have to say straight away, the composing experience is brilliant. The toolkit just sounds gorgeous. The sampling is pristine, it's detailed, it's character rich. There are so many articulations across the range of instruments. The composing possibilities are endless and I just love how cohesive everything is and the final sound is just once again full of character. Now let's talk about the composition. So I wrote this one in 3-4 and you can see on the left hand side there are 15 tracks and we use the guitar harmonics in a more of a sound design fashion. Dust piano and cotton piano I combined which I'll talk about in a moment and then we've got the flautando ensemble and ensemble shorts and I separated the violin, viola, cello and double bass into their sections. They're generally playing legato apart from there is a sol pom violin and then we have the foils which is the choir doing the m mm to r articulation the wonderless synth is using the preset called act one the drum kit i uh 
did some EQ to make it bassy and cinematic and added some delay and then we got an out of the box drum kit and finally some cymbal swells. So it started off with these two pianos and they sound like this. <laughs> So it's only two chords and I've actually got the cotton piano, which is more, I'm going to say up front, playing the pattern, but an octave down. And then the dust piano is playing the same pattern, but an octave higher. So combined, you've got this gorgeous wide piano sound. I do love those pianos. Now, you'll notice that I jumped in uh, and didn't talk about the start of the composition. So it's in A minor and I decided just to write a very, very quick intro just staying on an A minor chord. So we've got the guitar harmonics, which are playing this. Really, really basic. And I'm using black hole uh, for the reverb just because I like using black hole a lot, but you can use a built-in instrument reverb. And then we've got the flautando ensemble and the cello legato, and they sound gorgeous together. Amazing. And then we have the Wonderless synth and we've got the drum kit. And you might wonder what that little boom sound is. It's actually the pedals releasing on the pianos, just so you know. Um, so the synth is actually just alternating root and fifth, I believe. That's not root fifth. What did I do? Root third. And the drum kit is very, really cool. Like I say, it's, it's not the box drum kit. But I wanted kind of like a, a sort of more of a boom sound. So within the instrument, all I did is jump onto the effects and I added some delay and EQ. So you can see that I've um, sort of taken the highs and the mids down. And that is it really. And we've got reverb uh, using the built-in reverb. And it's absolutely lovely. So it just sits underneath. But that intro is only, what, five tracks? And of course, we have a cymbal swell. Now, this section obviously brings in the piano and the double bass. I'm just going to play the strings because the strings... They are stunning. It's a small string section. I believe it's nine players. And yeah, just the detail is wonderful. amazing and I'll bring in the string melodies here and you notice I've got a mixture of uh, legato it is a legato patch but I've not always used the legato and it makes sense when the violin legato comes in because that's all legato and I've got the viola part as well uh, which again I've kind of detached the legato but let's just have a quick listen So it's only two chords, and I do have the uh, harmonics playing, not just alternating between the two chords, 
that makes sense. So it's going down to this uh, E down here. But if I play all this in context, so we're just building up the textures, and I've also added um, just the out-of-the-box drum kit. So some light cymbal work. Now let's just hear that in context, and there's the pedals going again. And then we have our next section. So again, just start off with a really simple piano part. So I went crazy there and used four chords. Lovely. And I wanted the ensemble shorts to kind of play a rhythm that the drums are going to duplicate. So as we're cinematic, I've gone for Black Hole again and the drum kit's punctuating that. And we have the cello legato, but we have the introduction of the foils, the m to r. So these are vocal textures, as it were. So putting all that together, because it's only a handful of tracks, let's just hear that. We have a lower violin legato line just bringing in the next section and quite simply I did this bit like a musical palindrome uh, so you can see whoops my zooming is crazy there um, so you can see it brings in this section here again and then it repeats but it knocks out a lot of instruments until we end up um, with just like this texture so we have uh, the foils just creating this texture and it just works really, really well. So I've knocked out, like I say, quite a lot of the instruments and then just have an outro. And then automated a fade out on the uh, stereo out, which should be yellow as well. There we go. And that is the composition. Again, really, really straightforward, but just a layering up all of these different sounds and you just get this really sort of full and rich underscore. And for me, it sounds incredible. And this is a toolkit that I will be using a lot because I do make a lot of this kind of music. As ever, I have some closing thoughts about Novella Origin. 
For me, it is an incredible library, not just because I create a lot of underscore and dramatic music, just the sheer gorgeousness of the samples. It took over a year to make this library and you can tell Westwood Instruments put so much love into each and every sample that has gone into this composing toolkit. You get strings, you get choir, you get electric guitar, piano, synth, drums, you've got all of the effects, controls, different articulations, but what is the running consistency through the library is just the character and the high quality of sampling. For £179 at launch price, it is really a no-brainer if you create this kind of music. And for me, it's something that I'm going to be using a lot time and time again in fact because I do create a lot of this style of music and I just love when everything comes together all of these beautiful instruments you just have that intense character so like I say for me it is a recommendation I say go and pick it up as soon as you can and once it's under your fingers and you're composing with it you're just not going to ever look all that leads me to say is thank you so much to Westwood Instruments for sending over a pre-release of Novella Origin so we could make this video. If you like what you heard, feel free to leave a like on the video and of course drop us a comment. What do you like about Novella Origin? Would you buy it yourself? How would you use it? If you're not done so already, please check out our other videos on YouTube and of course subscribe to our ever-growing channel and then check out the samplist.com, which is our website, to learn a little bit more about us. Until next time, from this rainy Monday afternoon in uh, the centre of England, have a great day. Keep making that amazing and beautiful music. Until next time, speak soon.